Hey guys, and welcome back to another Frostborn episode. So in the last one, we kind of got our butts kicked in that raid. The guy kind of came in and picked on us. So that has actually prompted me to spend a bit of time and try to reinforce my base. I've done what I can, and I've essentially just tried to make it as annoying as I possibly can for anybody coming in to try and bust into my place, just to make it as... Uh, many walls as they can go and have to go through and just try to make it super super annoying So hopefully that won't happen again I might add another one down this section just to make sure it's three deep for someone to have to come in to actually find um, chest items and things like that but yeah I spent a bunch of time collecting a bunch of wood and then uh, building all of these walls so we definitely have more of a structure set up for our base hopefully that won't happen again and I'm gonna have to spend the time and actually go through and start up upgrading and up uh, dating all of these walls to make sure that they are more difficult to bust into as well but uh, also one things that I ended up trying to do is I bought one of these saving kits as you can see I don't have really anything else here um, the first one was actually cheaper than that so that was kind of nice but uh, it's not often I like to purchase anything in these games, but I thought maybe uh, I'd give it a shot and see if it can help me out. Plus, it was giving me coins, so that way I could get myself a repair table, and that way I can try to repair some of my items. So we'll claim that guy. Oh, I don't have any free inventory slots. Did I leave my bags? I left my bags full. So why don't I go first and uh, clean up my bag and drop off all the things that uh, I need to. Uh, Ooh, that's the wrong place. I didn't want to go into there. Maybe we have to go over and drop off some of my leather items, which those are good. I'm getting a good little mass of those. But uh, they keep getting used up quite often from uh, trying to upgrade the city, which has kind of been a little bit of a pain in the ass. A nice little wood accomplishment or, or there, so that's kind of been nice to fill that back up. The guy when he raided he took a lot of my steel items, so that kind of sucks. So I'll have to slowly begin to uh, recollect and replenish my stores there. And as you can see, I've kind of just tried to move my chest as far apart as possible just to try and reduce and make it more difficult for them to kind of go through and search through each one. And as well as I kind of move my good armor, it's over here, at least my usable ones. I still have everything in the vault. That is still full. Obviously they can't go in there and get anything from there because it is protected. But I still do have all of my lovely, lovely items down here. Which I use on occasion. I try not to. This is kind of those special occasions that uh, you run into um, and having to fight like bigger and harder bosses. But this here, we'll be able to repair that hopefully soon from our repair table. And I'll actually have to probably start using those a little bit more. And I might have to uh, try a couple more raids just to see how my defenses work. And maybe uh, get a little bit better at raiding other players as well. But I, I have a feeling that's going to have to wait a little bit longer. But when I did buy the savings kit, it came with a bunch of these chests. So I figured, why not let's open them up. So Treasures of Odin's Forge. What are you going to have for me? Of course, it's going to be randomized. So if I get one of these, great. And if I get one of those, even better. I mean, that's a sick ass looking dagger. A fireball. I really don't care for these items. But let's just see. What am I going to get? Okay, just some armor. But it's okay getting the, the plate chest. That, that'll that work. Bows and crossbows pack. Okay, let's open this bad boy up too. I mean, that's half decent bow. I'm not really getting much of those, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Gadget pack. What are we going to get? Just some throwing axes. That kind of really sucks. Melee pack. What are we going to get here? That's just some good stuff here. Uh, we didn't get any of those, which kind of sucks. They're pretty rare, I guess. Maybe we'll get one here. Uh, I mean, we've got a half decent dagger there. Resource pack. Oh, please give me nails. Yes, I needed those bad. Weapons pack. A little support staff. Ooh, and we ended up getting ourselves a Raider's Axe and Shield. That's actually half decent. I actually lost that during the raid, so to, to pick one of those up is excellent. And some Witch Doctor's Fear packs, and that's okay. Alright, and then why don't we go and grab 
our repair table. Where are you here? We'll claim you and let's build the repair table. And I think that means that it is locked to the account, which is good. Build this guy here. Oh, where are we going to put this repair table? Actually, I should probably put it over into this room here. We're going to move this guy over here. And we're going to put the repair table down here. Mostly just because it'll be closer to where I'm, I intend on keeping some of my um, fighting items. So, there we go. We got ourselves some, uh, some little juice here. Raiders Axe and Shield. The Defender Staff, which is okay. Nails, which I needed. A Piercing Dagger, which looks pretty good. Plate Pants, which is excellent. Throwing Axe, Frostbow, Plate Chest, and a Wraith Staff. Throwing Arm Hammers, some Healing Bombs, Fireworks. And this is some leftover stuff from before. Which I'm trying to keep all of this stuff here until I absolutely need it. As that was one of the things that someone had recommended in the past and it seems that it would have worked a lot better if I would have done that when I got raided so that way the guy you know wouldn't have been able to get some stuff so I'm trying to keep everything down in the vault that needs to be there and uh, as you can see I'm investing in making my base better but uh, that's it gonna be it for this episode guys thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one